What is up guys, it's Tony here, and today we're doing the third video of the gaming PC build marathon. If you haven't seen the last video where we did a $300 PC, click on the left side of the screen. And if you want to see the $160 build, click on the right side of the screen right now. But today we're doing a $500 build, a little bit more costly, but still very affordable. So this PC is going to give you extremely good power, a lot of expandability, and a more uh, reasonable setup. So first off, we have a Intel Core i3 CPU. So we're going Ivy Bridge, we're going dual core. This thing is a lot better than the last two CPUs we used and it's more with the time. So that's always good. And overall, it's gonna be great for gaming and all around purposes. For the motherboard, we're going with an ASRock B75M motherboard, which is just a basic motherboard that can handle that CPU, can handle the GPU we're gonna use. And it just gets the job done at the end of the day. For the RAM, we're going with 4GB of the Ripjaws X series, which is basically 1600MHz RAM, which is more with the time once again, and you can expand it down the road to 8GB if you feel like it is necessary. For the GPU, we're going with the GTX 750Ti, so we're going with the modern graphics here to make sure you can play, well, pretty much a lot of FPSs, maybe on medium settings, so it's pretty good, it'll get the job done for sure, and it's a great value. For storage, we're going to go with a 250GB Western Digital Drive. This thing is a lot faster than the last one, but it's the same amount of storage, but this is plenty enough just to get started and you can upgrade it down the road and uh, give yourself a little bit more space if needed, of course. And for the PSU, we're going with just a standard 500 watt power supply. It's what's required, so we're just going to throw that in there. With a silver certification, this is an incredible value from EVGA um, all around. And last but not least, we have the Cooler Master Elite 430 case. This is actually a very nice case. Uh, it comes with a blue LED fan, has plenty of room for expanding, and it's all around just a great, reliable case that'll get you through your build. So guys, that is pretty much it. That is the gaming PC build for today. If you guys haven't seen the other ones, like I said, go check them out. There'll be more coming up in the week, two more on Thursday and Friday, and they are going to be pretty nice compared to this one. But once again, this is a very good value PC build. If you don't really have the best budget, this thing will definitely do um, most of the gaming for, you know, pretty much FPSs, indie games, pretty much any type of genre you could think of this probably can handle. Um, so that is it guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this down the road, go ahead and like and comment, leave any feedback down below, and I'll see you guys next time.